I got uh, four hours of sleep. I was up playing a lot of video games last night. Surprise, surprise. So yesterday off is like a a break day from Smash. I only practiced a little bit of Rosa Labbing stuff. Never forget, Rosa sucks. Yeah, I played a Bloodstain to beat that yesterday. Played Team Bay Tactics. I got better at that question mark. It hits over too. It's not bad. Proving. It's important to, no matter how much you're supposed to be grinding something, take a break. And give yourself a little bit of time off of work. Off of something that's stressful. And there we go. Today's back to the heavy grind though. The smash, you know. Gotta play 27 hours a day. Uh, starting today. Gotta win Evo or have to chop my arm off. You know, the normal motivational stuff, right? Things everyone does. Tells themselves. That's cool. Yesterday, it was hurricane so badly that they got two different amber alerts. You know those amber alerts? They're the alerts where, like, your phone goes, like, bzzz, 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 bzzz. And basically, they go, like, a really loud, annoying sound. Because the phone's supposed to, like, Make you know, hey, shit's going down, man. Your area, it's raining, it might be, this could be some floods, you might die. Careful. Chill. Relax. Stay indoors, stay safe. To be fair, you could probably tell that by looking outside and seeing rain so wild that you can't even really see outside and the trees are going crazy. But whatever. So, it's what it is. You know, have weights are kind of crazy. I go to the Smash Con, and I'm part of their Heavy Invitational. I'm kind of hype. I'm probably going to play Bowser and just mash buttons and beat people. I love Bowser, actually. Bowser's an interesting character, right? He's really good until you not keep him at disadvantage. Like, if you can't keep Bowser at disadvantage, he can just mash at disadvantage and, like, hate you for it, and that's really bad. And if he wins neutral, like, twice, you die. I die, like, sub 100 consistently where I on. I was reverse three socked in one game. But then I went for a dumb hard read because I'm dumb. And when I missed that, I was like, why did I go for charge if I would smash the ledge? But if I guess right, he was dead, but that's not going to work out ever if it's a good player. Or very rarely works out. So that's dumb on my part with him. But yeah, now I keep out his disadvantage, and I was like, ooh. I don't know my exact combo game on him, I disadvantage game on him. Oh, I lost to Bowser. Rip. GG. And Rosa sucks for Spouser. You wouldn't think so, but that matchup is hell on earth for Rosa. You know, there's a brief moment where I was like, where a game came out, I was like, I'm gonna play Bowser, he seems really good, right? And then I played a Peach offline. And a Peach offline? It's funny, I played Bow maybe Bowser's two worst matchups offline, and I was like, yeah, let's not. No, this character's bad. <sighs> Maybe that was the wrong tell you have. Maybe I should just realize, hey, like Peach and Pichu are like Bowser's worst matchups, maybe. But it shouldn't let me deter from playing a super fun, good heavyweight that kills people 80 and frustrates people. They mash his nice big buttons. But whatever. Lane is getting scary. We'll see if it stays like that long term now. Where people learn to keep Bowser in the Savage and play a matchup and Lane just falls off. Hard to say. Man, I really got a medal that was like, looks like copper being oxidized. And that was the theme of the medal. I'm not going to go look at it right now. It's like on my wall. I don't want to get out of bed, right? But god damn, I got an ugly ass medal for third. I feel like offended with this medal. It's like I got third and it's being, I'm being punished for getting third. Like why? Why? Oh well. Oh, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Oh, yeah, so. Defend the North was a. Uh, man. Man, Defend the North. I. I don't like the event. I think it was good. 
I'm not just saying this because I lost. I'm salty because I lost. I've lost events and said, wow, this event's so great. I've won events and said, wow, this event was shit. Now, this event wasn't on the live. Like, wasn't shit, but I can't say it was good or even decent. So, I personally didn't like Best of 5 Top 64 all day Sunday. I think it took way too long. I don't blame House for doing that because they never could do Best of 5s in New York because we only have Xenos. And we're on schedule. So, like, that's fine. That was me just being like, I could have more time this day to do whatever I want. Instead of committing my entire day to Smash and just waiting. Because we're doing best of five top six four bracket. And I'm just like bodying over an early bracket and it's a waste of my time. But that's understandable for them to do that, right? Oh my god, hold up. Oh my god, between my fingers it is just so badly. Oh my god. So it's very nice when you scratch a really bad itch. Um Yeah, that was whatever. The venue itself was like way too small, cramped and hot. Um now apparently someone at the event, it was an FCC event, and you were like a fighting game player, not a Smash player, died at the event. Now, initially people thought it was because of heat stroke. Now, I think it's more likely the guy just had a stroke, which sucks. But I can't imagine the heat in there is particularly helpful either. I don't know. It really sucky to, to see like ambulances outside the venue and be like, oh my god, what's happening? And find out, like, after the event was like near the end of the event, like, oh shit. Someone died. Like, because they had a stroke at the event. That sucks. That, like, that really sucks, you know? That's. It... Take care of yourselves, people. You know? You gotta. I go to the gym to work out because, you know, you gotta be healthy. You know? Make sure you're physically. Not even, like, blood buff or anything, but just be fit, you know? Be in shape somewhat. You know, you're supposed to. If you live a, a lifestyle of just sitting down playing video games and going on the computer, go do something to be at least like an hour of exercise a week, you know? It's better than nothing. But yeah, this guy, uh, had a stroke. I can't imagine the conditions inside the venue helped, at least in the smash room. Now, there was water, of course. You could bring your own, like, food and drinks in. They didn't really enforce, hey, don't bring your own food and drinks in, but. Oh my god, inside the venue, it was. It was so hot. I actually think Sam Sawyer got a passive bonus for being Florida in that venue because, like, everyone's hands were, like, slippery, right? Like, I remember shaking Jen's hand, and I looked at my hand, and I'm like, oh, my God, you can't tell how I look like, whatever. It was so, his hand was so hot and sweaty and slippery that I was like, oh, my God. I don't blame him and all, but this is messed up. I remember, like, I couldn't stay inside the venue that long because I was, like, Drenched in the sweat, was staying in there for like ten minutes, and like they had so many people packed in there, and there was no room to move, and it was just bad inside the smash room. Like I remember, like when the event, when I got to like uh, lose their semis, I was kind of like, shit, I don't want to be here. <laughs> That's cool, new gonna be your event, but like, and it's cool. I just uh, I beat Mars, and then I beat like. Someone, but now I have to stay inside for so long for award ceremony and for playing more matches. And like by the time the award ceremony was done, I there was just sweat falling off my face. My my back was sweaty. I probably smelled like the worst thing in the world. And I took a shower that day, a nice ass shower, and had some deodorant and everything. It didn't matter, all because it was like a sauna in that venue, like. You could probably take all your clothes off and still be dying of heat inside the part of the venue. It was bad. And apparently the worst thing was the hotel the venue was at was uh, apparently they turned the AC off. I think you have to legally because of the heat wave or something. Because of course New Yorkers get by mad, ridiculous, a mad hot heat wave. Like an OD heat wave. Like a WTF OMG no LOL heat wave. And that's why the venue is so ridiculous. No to TOs. Make, your ven- make sure your venue is not that hot. Do something to help the people out. Free water is great and all, especially if it's cold. But, like, I don't know. But yeah, I think the Fan of North needed maybe bigger 
rooms or something. Apparently, that wasn't the worst room. Apparently, the like the Samurai Showdown slash DBZ room was the worst by far in terms of heat. But like every room had it kind of badly for the most part. From what I heard, F Y I checked out. They were yeah, all the rooms are kind of eh. I did like how they found the north though. Um, was right next to Penn Station. So, like you get out of, of uh, Penn Station, like take L I R or whatever you take, get the pen, and you're a four minute walk. I remember when I finished my, uh, the awards ceremony, got my shitty medal for losing to Bowser and getting bodied by Peach. I remember mad dashing because I had five minutes to catch my train, and I did it. Mad dash from the venue all the way to my train, catch it as it's boarding. I was like, let's freaking go. I was waiting an extra hour to catch my train. Then I went to my friend's place because he was right next to the venue and played uh, Marvel's in my lines 3. Marvel's sick, by the way. I should talk more about Marvel in some future videos. This one lines three is fun as a co-op game. It's not even that great of a game, but it's just a co-op mesh buttons with your friend game while chilling. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So in summary, Olimar is bad. Rosalina is garbage. I saw him beat Sinji though with Rosa. I saw him beat Mars that event. I was playing like so bad that event, but Mars also dropped all these inputs. And me and Mars had the most spaghetti of spaghetti like matches ever. It was, I blame the heat. And uh. Yeah, guys, everyone have a beautiful day. You know, I want you all to uh, to commit to a little bit of personal health, you know. Uh, no one gets enough exercise, no one's healthy enough. I'm not saying come, like, jacked, work out 10 hours a week. But, you know, treat yourself right, you know. Treat your heart well, treat your body well. Remember, your body is a temple. And you got to take care of it like one. All right, y'all. Have a great day.